rise and shine, y'all. We're coming fresh off the speeder right now. Oh, oh. Looking as good as ever. Take a little bit of break and join the last ray of sunshine before it snows again next week. So we have a small window to knock it out right now. The greatest free to play account in the history of Galaxy Heroes past, present, future is unlocking the executor for FR. Double E. Free. Let's get in there. Unlock it. Show you how good we are. And I don't know, maybe we'll squeeze in a few Grand Arena battles towards the end. And I'm going back to enjoy some sunshine because, well, it's cold and rainy next week. Let's go. Bring him on over, Gary. No stalling. Straight into the action. Let's go. Gary, no, no, no. I'm over here, buddy. Bring him over. All right, there we go. Yeah, I got like a small window. Uh, today turned into kind of a freestyle day. I don't know how to explain this for those of you who are fortunate enough to live in a warmer part of an Alderaan. Gary. Okay, thank you. I was like, where's the music? Uh, and where I'm from in an Alderaan, uh, let, me, let me put it this way. Imagine four months straight of darkness, gray, rain, snow, and all of a sudden you get this perfect week where it's heaven. 73 and sunny, the ultimate weather, and today's the final day. Imagine the apocalypse is tomorrow. You want to enjoy the last day, right? So, uh, we're going to do this. Executor unlock right now. Hopefully we have maybe time to squeeze in a few Grand Arena battles. I don't think I have enough time to do a full-blown Grand Arena because my family's waiting for me. They want to get back on the road and start burning some rubber, baby. So let's do it. How we got it? How we doing all? How we doing all? We have music and I with the woo! Start the freaking stream, Gary. We're late. No, Gary's actually on time. He was right on the money. He wants to go back out there and have a good old time. So let's do it. Free to play account, Gasmaster64. I got to go back and double check, but I think we started doing the the grind for executor, obviously Seth Eternal helps out a little bit of Dark Vader and PF, but we started the official grind for executor, I want to say in January, maybe late December, I have to double check. Maybe, maybe I have to go back. But we're finally here just in time. Uh, Thursday, we got the final requirement knocked out. And now I don't remember much about this event. It's been about two years since we did it. But the good news is this ship is still very top tier. So let's just get into it. Let's not keep you in any more suspense. Hop into the action. All right, so I'm gonna do ugh, the usual crew. The only downside is no Xanadu blood, which really sucks. Xanadu blood is kind of, I'd say 30% of what the fleet's all about. So we're just gonna bring in the starting three bounty hunters of those and then fill in the rest of this. I believe it was the, is it the, it's easy to unlock the exec, but the bonus tier to get the shards, that's the tough one, I believe. So let's do it. How's Gary doing, man? Gary's feeling good, man. And then he's going to be miserable the next week. 30, 20s, rain. It's going to freaking snow in my region on Monday. What the hell, man? Fix your weather <laughs> nature. <laughs> ah, I keep trying to get into the family. Let's move to somewhere a little bit nice, like where it's like this week all the time. No, we got to stay out or they like making life miserable. All right. Let's go. I'm just going to go straight for Darth Vader. I probably actually, I probably should have went for Thai Bomber. Oh, well, we'll figure it out as we go along. Can we get a mark? We're going to get a mark on, uh, let's go for, let's do, uh, da, 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 just hit him. Nice. All right. Let's get a big assist over here. Go, go, go. Send the money. All right. Let's see if we can try to get mark on Vader. Nicely done. Mark on Vader is good. All right. Yeah, it really sucks not... It's kind of like Star Killer. You, you, it's cool you got the thing, but you still have to go out of way to farm a few things. All right, let's go. Oh! Oh! Keep it going, baby. What do we got here? Let's go bring out Bobby. All right, Bobby Feet coming out. Oh, I got to show you what relics we have. So basically minimum relic requirements uh, that we got rolling right now. Uh, let's do, uh, just do basic. Oh, crank this song up, baby. Crank it up all the way, honey. Boom, boom. Almost there, wrap it up, three, two, one. Come on. And put, come on, let's get this Vader out of here, y'all. I make a really good siren sound. All right, oh, don't, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Y'all's gotta be kidding me. All right, do that. Oh, come on, y'all's gotta be kidding me right now. All right, over here, frickin' Halvator, dodging my life here. Razor Crest, can we get around this? Come on, somebody, somebody. Oh, jeez. Ah, all right. Well, that was a little unfortunate, but what else is new? Story of my life, let's go. All right, come on. Let's try to finish this sucker off. Come on. There we go. Come on. No, no, no. Don't die me yet. We need you. We need you. All right. Finish off Vader finally. Goodness gracious. That took forever. All right. We still have reinforced hull and we lost it. All right. It's looking like, hey, you know what? We're not done yet. We got all these reinforces still. Let's keep it rolling. Come on. All right. Let's go. Probably a waste of a buff this spell, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay. You know, let's finish off this TIE Bomber. It overstayed their welcome. Come on, baby. Let's keep pushing. Keep pushing. A boom. All right, come on. 
One hit. Two hits. Almost there. Where's that ultimate? Piat, baby. So, oh boy, it's going to be a bit, isn't it? Uh, let's just go do this. Get rid of the bomber. All right, there we go. Bomber's gone. Looking good. Might as well work on Bobby. Here we go. Keep that taunt up. Let's see if we can get it up. No Oh, there we go. We got the sun. Oh, come on. Seriously, bro, Chacho. Bubble, man. All right, let's go. See if we can put this guy in the grave. Three, two, one. Bring it out the tie advance. All right, we got it. It's a little messy there. We should be fine and dandy. All right, hey, you know, let's work on Palpmobile. Okay, nicely done. Hit him a couple times. One hit. Two hit. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, that's fine. We're still... Ooh, ooh that could hurt. No. Okay. Stay with me. Stay with me. We're almost there. Oh, my gosh. Five more turns. Come on. Stop resisting. Come on. There we go. All right, final push. All right, we got to get a reinforcement out. Oh, baby. Come on. No, 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 no. All right, reinforcement, reinforcement. One more reinforcement to go. Tie fight. Let's cheese it up. Okay. Send it. Okay. Uh, hit him with the stun. Oh, God. You got to land. You got to land those. Almost there. All right, get a dodge. All right, we got a dodge. Maybe some turn meter. Three more turns to go. Send it over there. And I... There we go. We got it. We got it. Easy. First try. We have RJJ RA2 coming at the phone. Dollar Super Chat. Ember, you're not going to believe this. All right, let's see. What, what, what can I believe? When my GC came down to my opponent's last battle, I needed two holds for the fat W. And Trench actually held in Kyber 1. Hell to the freaking yeah, 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 yeah. I'm curious to know what they use. Curious to know what they use. Check it out after the Grand Arena's over. Check it out, see if they use. Uh, there's a few teams that I probably would not, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't want to throw like Imperial Trip, even though they do have some success. You know, Trench just breaks up that Emperor's Trap a little bit, but hey, man, can't complain. Get those fat Ws, my friend. Keep it up, let's go. Bounty Hunters, next round, next round. Let's see what we got here. We have you, 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 you. All right, let's see what we bring out here. All right, basically they're taking us through the old meta fleet. Basically, do you have a favorite bounty hunter? Oh man, uh, is Django Fett too basic to say? I don't know, Cad Bane's pretty cool, Django's pretty cool, but... Uh, favorite bounty hunter. I mean, Mando, I guess, technically. Is he even a bounty hunter anymore? I don't know, CG doesn't seem to think so. We got Ben coming with the five, get the sub. Thank you! Thank you so much for spreading that Kyber generosity. Let's keep pushing on this fleet. Uh, did I already fight this fleet? Is this Chimera fighting? I can't tell. All right, I guess we'll find out in a moment. Um, yeah, do I want to... What do I want to do here? This is a different fleet because we have Kylo and this Garbanzo Beans here. Um, kind of just want to get... Darth Vader is kind of annoying to deal with. You know, just let's go. Come on. There we go. Good stun. Good stun. All right, let's just go send the swarm over here. All right, nice couple hits. All right, let's see if we can get you for the assist. One hit, two hits, nicely done. Uh, a little stun, that's unfortunate. Okay, come on, no, 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 no. All right, this is Thrawn's Chimera. Come on, luckily no tie defender. Would not want to bother with that. One hit, two hits, almost there. All right, let's go bring out Bobby Feet. Yeah, let's go bring out Bobby Feet. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get that ability block. Let's go on ability block there. We should also hit Darth Vader over there. Got resisted. What else is new? Finish him off. Oh, come on, boy. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Let's get him out. One hit. There we go. He's down for the count. All right, another round of burning. Here goes the buff the spell on Boba Fett a little. Oh, we got to keep... I keep forgetting. We got to show our relics and stuff that we have. Uh, I don't have any relics on the Razor Crest here. Or I should say more specifically. Do not have any relics on Beskar Mando. Okay. All right, stun boy. My house is getting absolutely clobbered. Hopefully I can heal him up in a second. All right. Oh, no stealth. Okay. Let's hit him with the big boy. Japon. Oh, boy. Come on. Where? No, no, no. Uh, where's my capital ship? Stun him. My gosh. All these stuns. All right. Uh, let's go fix him up. There we go. Back up and running. Smooth sailing from here, I feel. All right. Let's see. You know, just give me a mark over here. All right. Good, 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 good. Hit him with another one. Boom! Nicely done. Gotta love a good seismic charge. Down for the count they go. All right. All right. This one's going very well. Let's bring this out for the buff the spell. And I think we got it. There we go. Nice. No one lost. Easy, clean, sweep. All right. Let's go finish off. Kylo, bring out you for the assist. Okay. Do a little ability block on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost there, almost there. Come on. 
Come on, honey. Oh, oh come. Jeez, what is this damage you guys are putting out right now? There we go. Set up the heat laser. We got it. Power Mary Dog, $10. Why is it that you didn't start until 12.15 today? I just want, uh, you know, life. It's, uh, go, to, go, go to the intro, Parma Mary Dog. I explained. Today is a very unique day in my heck of the woods. Let's just put it that way. A lot of unexpected plans before the good. For, it's called enjoying life. I just unlocked Hella today. Nice. What are the best cards uh, to include in the Hella deck? Really? Uh, it's very limited. You want to do this card stuff. So bringing in uh, Sip, bringing in. Uh, this is Marvel Snap question, by the way, for those who have no idea what we're talking about. Uh, you want to bring in like Sif. You want to bring in Colleen X. Uh, Colleen. Uh, what else do you want to bring in? You want to bring in Blade. You want to bring in a lot of high power cards. You want to try to slice up like things like Death. You want to try to slice up things like the Infinite. And then at the very end, if you, if you got the season pass card of Modok, Modok's fantastic with Hella. And then at the very end, you bring in Hella and you respawn all those big cards that you discard. It's not my favorite deck. It's a little too RNG, a little too luck based because when she spawns the cards that were discarded, you, you can't tell it where to put it. So it's completely randomized. That's the one downside. Oh, no, hold on. Let's show the relic requirements real quick. Show the relics. Yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Again, I'm a little, a little ahead of myself. I only have like another 30 minutes here. So I'm trying to make sure we get as much done as possible. Quick stream again, kind of last second. But hope if you don't, if you know, you know, when you only get one week out of the first four months of the year where the weather's absolutely amazing and today's the last day, you, you treat it like tomorrow's the apocalypse. Oh, yes. Required journey guide. All right. So there you go. So basically all the minimum requirements for our pilots, nothing out of the ordinary. I don't think I have great mods on some of these, so no six that here. We'll just scroll through. Yeah, garbage mods on Boba, garbage mods on Dengar, IGDA. Vader's got good mods, Piet's got good mods, Boss has good mods, Pi Pilot. I don't even have this update. <laughs> oh boy, a, I, no, I'm not gonna waste credits on that. That's a trash mod. You know what, we're making trash work. Yeah, so that's all the uh, requirements. Uh, Dengar doesn't even have a ship. No punishing one? What's going on, CG? And then Razor Crest is not the best in terms of... I did bump it up a tier. I bumped it up from gear 9 to... Or, or gear... What? I'm only at gear 9? Well, I bumped it up a tier. So it's a little bit better than what I had it before. Uh, all right. Let's go. Back into the action of things. A swang of things here. All right. And... Oh, no, no. Where to go? Oh I, oh, I have to go through the journey guide? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Journey guide. Executor. All right, tier three coming up, y'all. You're so much happier playing this than uh, this than Snap. It's, uh, it's uh, it's actually the other way around. Snap, I enjoy more from a competitive perspective, but it's a grind. It's actually, it's I don't know how to explain it for those that play this game. Hitting Infinite Marvel Snap is is way more rewarding than hitting Kyber in Galaxy of Heroes. It's a, uh, it's a lot. It's like it's thousands of battles that you have to do. And it's a uh, and it's real time PVP. We're here. You're just playing against the bots, basically. So it's just it's a lot sweatier in Marvel Snap. So it's a it's a true sign when you're the king of Triple B making infinite. We hit we did hit. You missed it, Michael. I joke about this. when I stream Marvel Snap. I, I I don't move. I just stay I stay still. The second I got off stream, I hit infinite literally 30 minutes after the stream. So I spent five hours streaming. We kind of made a little. We got like four six cube four six cube gain. And then after stream, I went from 99 to 100, literally in 30 minutes. So it's the streamer's curse in doing snap, it seems like. Moving on, what else do we have here? We have, um, oh, hold on. I didn't finish part of my Mary Dogs, $10 dog super chat. Oh, uh, we have a Rebel Fleet here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go. What are the best cards? Are we already, got, we already talked about Hella CG looking, uh, locking a conquest. Get behind another conquest unit. Wow, this is a new low. Well, welcome to Galaxy Heroes. You know, I keep saying this. Uh, if you're playing Galaxy Heroes, you know what you're in for. <laughs> Nothing should surprise you anymore at this game. That's just how their monetization model works. Um, do I agree with it? No. Do I like it? Not really. But, you know, if you're playing this game for this many years, you, you kind of realize after complaining about paywalls in this game, they don't care. <sighs> how about this? If you don't like it, go play another Star Wars game. You can't! <laughs> That's a very cynical, uh, <laughs> very cynical reasoning right there. All right, let's go bring out this guy. Actually, no, do this guy. That's going to be great. Uh, we have Ben Tim with the 1,500 ISK. ISK, is that? I actually don't know what that is. We'd appreciate if you get Gary a cut of this along with the Empire. Uh, Gary, you're, you're totally going to get a cut of this, right? <laughs> the guy, just, yeah, you know, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's a volunteer, right? 
he's just a, he's just a volunteer worker around these parts he's just an overworked volunteer i appreciate the generosity though ben kenobi thank you so much let's go ahead and heal up our boss looking good basic over there and let's drop a basic here let's go drop that but okay come on come on all right <laughs> All right, come on, baby girlfriend. Give me a stun. Nicely done. Let's lock this fool in. All right, let's go bring out the Slava one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get our other bounty hunter out here. All right, we got ability blocks there. Let's go just drop some ability blocks over there. Nicely done. Good stuff. We're looking pretty good. Looking real good right now. Okay, let's go bring an IGD for that assist. Chip on. Chip on. Okay, come on. Almost there. All right. Oh, you son of a gun. You are something else, aren't you? Probably should have dropped the ability block there. But it don't matter because I have a big ball of death right there coming at you. Good stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the swarm. All right, this is the easiest tier so far. By far, no problems. No problems whatsoever. Okay, let's go finish up this cast. And he's kind of a little bit of a jerk. All right, yeah, we're going to get counter attack quite a lot. All right, let's go do a buff this spell. Get some burning on these fools. Good stuff, good stuff. Come on. One hit, two hits, almost there. A little push. There we go. All right, do that. Got a nice expose, and let's go put him in the grave. Three, two, one. Nice. I wish we could just hit auto, but we actually have to play this. There we go. And we have Ben Kenobi gifting a one member to the Kyber Code VIP Plus program. I wonder who the special person was, Ben. You made their day, my friend. Thank you so much. For all the love and greatness you guys are bestowing upon us. And there's Ben Kenobi giving another one. And another one. Thanks, Ben. That's three right there. Uh, I bought the Thorg bundle. Got Thanos as well, says Mark Mate. What? You got Thanos as a result? Holy cow. From a, from a reserve or from the tokens that were part of it? Because if you got Thanos from a reserve, uh, yeah, that's as lucky as it gets. I, although I did pull Thanos from a reserve. I got Thanos for free, which is pretty wild. That was like, uh, I got that really early. I'm like in my thousands or so collection ranks. So I was pretty hyped. Congratulations, my friend. Thanos is something. He's, uh, we were playing some Thanos yesterday on the second channel. It was, the problem I have with Thanos is it's just, it's a very, it's a very RNG deck where, you know, you got to put something down to lockjaw, hope something good comes up. And knowing my luck, I never get the good stuff to come up, but it's still nonetheless, uh, top tier deck right there, my friend. Congrats. Hope you got some fun cards. Use it. Hope we got lockjaw. You need lockjaw to really get Thanos popping and unlocking. What else we got here? Fake 17, 19 months. Thank you. Hey, Anna, congratulations on finishing the executor farm. Are you headed for Malik or Gas or another GL next? Have fun at the Son of the Family. Yeah, it was kind of one of those things where they hit me up. They're like, hey, you want to go for a run? I'm like, sure. And then it went a little bit longer. And then it's like, all right, I'm already running out of time, but I need to do something with you guys. I feel bad if I did nothing with you guys. I'm like, wait, we have the executor to do. I at least have time to do that. So we're kind of taking a little break. There's like scattered, scattered rain today. So I think it's, we're gonna, it's perfect timing. Perfect timing for a little quick break. And, oh, I actually have to pay attention. We're fighting a negotiator. So yeah, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a nice day. It's just, I hate God. I keep trying to convince the familia. Let's move somewhere else. I'm only here because family's out here. If the family moves, I move. It just, it feels like only half the year is nice. And this is like the first week in four months where it feels like you're not in an apocalyptic prison cell with all the snow, gray skies. This is, geez. All right, let's go. Bring this out. All right, all right. Probably should have targeted, yeah, that was a little misplay. Oh, well, should have targeted Clone Sergeant when I was doing the reinforcement. My gosh, all these resist. Doesn't matter. He only a basic anyways. All right, coming in. Oh, Anakin's open. Can we get him? Mm, no, we can't reach it right now. Come on, someone. There we go. Hit him back. Okay. Can I get around? No, okay. Might as well just finish the job. Come on. Almost there. Hit him back. Almost there. Do it again. Oh, come on. You know. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, I'm going to go for it. Nah, there we go. We got the mark on him. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's fix up. Hmm. I mean, I'd rather fix. Let's go just fix up Boba Fett. All right, good stuff. All right, so let's see. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you jerk. Let's try to get Anakin. There we go. Oh, seriously, bro? Uh, all right, mildly frustrating. Come on, uh, let's get the mark back on. Come on. Uh, all right, come on. There we go. We got him. He dead. He dead. That's fine. We're almost the ultimate. We're looking good. Looking real good right now. Yeah, just do basic. Yeah, do buff the spell. Let's get all that protection up off. Should make life a little bit easier. 
Okay. All right. Death from above. A little taste of democracy right to the face. Uh, but we don't do that around here, right? Okay, let's go. Almost. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Piet. We're just waiting on you, bud. Come on. Oh, seriously. All right, come on, boys. There we go. All right, let's see. You know what? Just uh, give me a mark on this Jedi Counselor. There we go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Almost there. Come on. Push a little harder. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Ah, come on. Work faster. Like, you, you really appreciate how important Xanadu blood, blood is. Xanadu blood has so much extra bonus damage. Eat this, peasant! Oh! You know, I gotta call George Lucas. It would... Oh, you gotta be... Okay, I was gonna say, don't you dare crash on me. We, we need to call George Lucas. You know, they're making a Return of the Jedi. Uh, there's like a special anniversary edition going in movie theater soon. We should call him up and be like, hey, I'm not sure if it's like two last second, but can you guys maybe like squeeze in a, a yeet or an air horn when, you know, they use the Death Star? I think that'd make it a little bit more intimidating. Incoming. It's just my opinion, though. I, you know, that's just how I would think. If I was going to have a Death Star, I'd add an air horn or yeet sound effect. There we go. Good stuff. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, let's go uh, do this over here. Come on. Come on, baby. You're almost there. Yeah, I think if I recall correctly, the, 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 the malevolence bonus tier is the more tricky. That's the trickier battle. That's when you, how you get the seven stars. All right, come on. Listen, you guys lost. Just just take it. Just, wow, not a single ability block. Do I not have Boba's abilities leveled up or something? There we go. All right, we're almost there. I wish I could just hit auto so I could see what you guys are saying, but we're almost there. Oh, one hit, two hit. Actually, I should really check the ships and see what my abilities were. Because right now, my abilities do not seem to be... Super effective. We'll check in a minute. Come on. Almost there. That's one. Next up, that's two. And ladies and gentlemen, all you beautiful Gungans and droids, whatever you might be. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, y'all. And I think that's the final 40 shard count. Oh, baby. Let's go really quick before we unlock this baby Rooney. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. I know I want to. Hold on. I just want to double check and see what my ship abilities were like because I don't I honestly don't know if I've upgraded most of them all right let's see ships oh journey guy journey guy let's see the ships real quick oh it's completed oh my gosh let's go check the bounty hunters where you at bounty hunters let's see it all right so Boba Fett oh my yeah we didn't have a lot of abilities upgraded uh eh, it's not that that's just extra damage right that would have been maybe mildly helpful houndstooth we have Pretty much everything maxed out on Houndstooth. IG-88, we had like, probably, yeah, you know, probably could have, eh, I don't think it's necessary. Cad Bane, we don't use for this event. Beskar Mando, we basically have as far as we could take it. And then, yeah, that's, I think that's all there is. And then I, we could check the Empire ships. The Empire ships aren't really too important. I mean, the TIE Bomber's nice. Mm, let's see, Vader. I think it's everything but reinforcement was upgraded. And then what else do we have here? We had TIE Fighter. Had like some abilities missing out here. Missing out some Terminator game. Again, we weren't really using it. It's really just the Bounty Hunter's got a bit running than TIE Bomber. We do have Max out because that is a bangerific ship. Let's activate this puppy. What is this? Four months later, it's finally here. This is basically like getting another GL. Oh, we had that question. Am I going to go for a gas? Man, like another GL that was a uh, fake 17. Oh, um, I don't 100% know yet. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to finish fleshing out my bounty hunters. I want to get Cad Bane up to like maybe like Relic 3-5. Same thing with Beskar Mando. But likely what I'm currently working on now that I kind of eased off on the Relic grind, I'm, I mean, I'm basically waiting. Again, I'm the biggest hard node hater. I think they're horrible. The farm, Juhani. I, I feel like I've been farming Juhani as, as long as I'm <laughs> getting my executor requirements put together. So I think we're going to go for Darth Revan next. We're almost there. Juhani, Karthanas, he's a cantina farm, so he's pretty fast. And, and you get the Outrider too as a result. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Go for Darth Revan Malak. Pretty easy team. The, the problem is I feel like, uh, I don't know. And Darth Revan loses a lot of oomph on defense because there's a lot of counters to them. But maybe I'll use Darth Revan on offense. Maybe we can find some stuff to do with it. Enough chit chat. Let's unlock this sucker. Let's go ahead, turn down the song. Let's crank up the base station, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen.
guys, it's, uh, this free-to-play count has been a ton of fun. It feels good to unlock it. The, the biggest weakness is like this for everything, you know? Uh, ships are so important. And once you get your hands on an exact profundity, you're cooking in a whole different ball game. The perimeter cow run has been holding well for the character side of things. It's been the reason why we're able to go so far in the free to play count. But still, the biggest weakness has been the executor. A lot of folks don't have a good ship. They might not have the counter. They don't know how to beat it. It might scare them to bring in their executor on offense, making my life easier when I got to go through their defense. So let's go upgrade the sucker. Yeah, we'll, we have to do the uh, bonus here in a moment. Let's go upgrade this real quick. Let's see. I don't know if we're going to have enough ability materials. Yeah, um, definitely want to upgrade all that. All right, yeah, we're definitely not going to have enough. So we probably, all right, we need to be, we need to, uh, which ones do I want to upgrade first? I mean, I'm, I want to believe this is, I mean, the basics not super important. So we can skip out on that for a little bit. All right, I'm going to, it's ultimate. We want that ultimate. Yeah, we want to definitely get that cooldown reduction. So 100%. I think I only can go up to level five anyways, or six. Is it six? No, this is five. We're, so we're at level five. And this is also important, getting the cleanse. I think we actually, maybe we'll have enough to get all this to the level five. Okay. The mass swarm is very important. Yeah, I think actually I have enough for right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it. I think we're good. Cool stuff. Yeah, uh, basically a little minor pro tip. As you're farming for executor and you have nothing else to farm in squad arena, you basically want to just use your, your stuff to get the uh, prestige tokens. So yeah, the, without that, it's it's hard to kind of garner enough. Yeah, enough for foresters. We're good. Thank you, Admiral Trench. Well, Admiral Trench just retracted their message. Oh, come on. <laughs> you don't need to, I know people are a little sad about you. No need to hide. No need to hide on us. And uh, let's go hop into that journey guy. Do the bonus tier. I believe the bonus tier is the it's that's the that's the tricky one. Uh, that's the one that gives people a hard time. And where do I no the bonus tier is inside of the events, right? Yep, there it is. Gosh, I I, I hate how long it takes to get these to seven stars. Why can't they just be a permanent uh journey guide event? Like now it's like the it, you know how long it took me to get finalized at a seven stars? Jeez, uh, it's it's a little bit annoying. Um, all right. I think I'm gonna bring in bomber. Yeah, this is the malevolence. I gotta watch. I gotta watch my own videos. <laughs> I don't remember much about it. Maybe I should rewatch it in a second. And then we have uh, Kemix AK Duo with the hundred Nakaroonies. You think the scimitar will be a staple of the new Sith meta? Oh boy, no one knows. All I know, if my biggest tips, if you're wanting to get Leviathan, you're probably gonna want to farm your Sith assassin and the ship, and you're probably gonna want to farm the Darth Maul scimitar. Basically, all the Sith ships, there hasn't been really a big need to get them. Now there's kind of a reason to get them. Otherwise, I have no idea. Uh, I'm guessing there's probably, gonna, maybe it's going to be funky. Maybe because of how the B-20 is going to interact with Malgus. It's going to be nice getting Scimitar to come on and put the stealth on the bomber. No one knows yet until we see the, uh, the other ships and that. But uh, it's kind of like the Bounty Hunter fleet. Every Bounty Hunter is kind of important. IJ being the weaker one, sort of. But otherwise, uh, I, I expect they're going to make Sith, the, the Scimitar do something really bonkers with another one of the ships out there. And uh, all right, let me see here. Let me swap Boba for IG. Let me see. Let me, uh, let me just, I should watch my own video, shouldn't I? <laughs> all right, let me see. Uh, executor unlock bonus tier. Look at that, executor unlock. Holy cow. You know, I, I, it's like, I, I don't go back and rewatch these and it's like, oh wow, I didn't know that did that well. <sighs> Raid Shadow Legends. All right, bonus tier. This is important. All right, let's see what this loud dude is saying. All right, hit me. Hit me with some knowledge. During the event, a secret bonus tier. Bonus I was tier. Under the impression we got to do the negotiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. We're gonna start off with our bounty hunter fleet. All right, so that's basically what we have right, right. now. But this. Is the okay. Phase. My favorite way is getting the razor crest to oh, call man, the house. Oh man, look at that to juicy 60 FPS plus. Oh, I missed it already. This guy's because eventually we're gonna throw massive okay. sick, and I want to make sure uh -huh. we target down. That hyena bomber. Yeah, let's so get that go. sucker down. Let's go. For the house, but here we yeah, go. we got to get that assist. For the assist. Yep, Boom. yep, yep. Buster. All right, cool. It's coming back to me. Let's go for it, y'all. Bonus tier time on the free to play. Rip JC today. Yeah, uh, I'm not too mad because, you know, spending time with the family and all that shenanigans, but it's like, yeah, it's just. It's too nice a day to pass up. It's too nice. I'll do like a quick battle. There's, uh, 
I'll tell you guys this. There's no chance in hell we'll win the free-to-play account. I'll show you in a sec. I took a little peek. Maybe I'll try to squeeze in a few battles. I think we could win the main account, too. My opponent dropped a lot of battles on us, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to have another nice day like this for quite a while. All right, so we're going to go... Oh, shoot. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. We got to do the swarm attack over here. All right, nice. Yes, yeah, so we just got to get that bomber out. Let's go. Uh, all right, so we already have... Okay, just go for it. All right, one hit two hits looking good okay they didn't cleanse up from hyena that's looking nice come on baby keep pushing all right all right go for it push push almost there almost in the yellow boy 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 we got it all right i'm guessing by bringing boba fett as first reinforcement let me see boba fett as first reinforcement yes you want to probably do yep 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 all right yep we bring in boba as first reinforcement <laughs> Get that crap out of here. It's the slave one, baby. Let's go, Let's baby. Go yeah. Matt Sword. All right. Boba Fett coming in. All right. I think that... Don't I want to do basic here? Yeah, I want to dispel all the buffs. Wouldn't basic make more sense here? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look, I've grown and improved over my previous strategy. All right. That's fine. Almost down for the count. Once that hand bomber's out, things should get a lot easier for us. Pushing. Keep pushing. Almost there. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. One. All right. There we go. Nice. Hit him. Boom! Easy money. All right. I'm guessing. Is that Sun Fack over there? No, it's Geno's and Soldier. I'm guessing we go for IG-88 hey, next. A couple more hits. Hey, you know, better late than never. So next up, we're going to go after IG-88. IG-88. Let's do it. Okay. Let's fix up. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I mean, Bosk is looking pretty good. You know what? Let's, um, you know what? Do it. Let's do this. There we go. Got the cleanses. All right, on to IGD. Let's do it, baby. Come on, push, push, push. Here we go. Get you for the assist. Oh, one, two. There we go. Getting some damage out there. All right, little stun. Mild inconvenience. Mild at best. All right, hit him with the stun of our own. Of course, I see how it is. Come on, we got to be almost there. Ten more little turns to go. Okay, come on. Ten more cooldowns. Ten more cooldowns. All right, let's go. Get some of this buff dispelling going. Nice. He's more burning onto the field. Come on, come on, baby, 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 baby. Oh, boy, poor hounds, too. Can't catch a break. Come on. Nice little mark. Another one. Wow. All right. I, I, I'm feeling Grievous might hit his ultimate. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a bit overkill, don't you think, kids? Uh, let's just do basic enough. Ah, uh, basics not up. That'll finish it up, though. There we go. Save the mass for someone else. All right. Uh, let's go bring over. Let's just see if we can get Soldier out of here. One hit. Two hits, almost there. And let's do a little ability block. Maybe that'll finish off Gina's soldier. It did indeed. And I think, yeah, boy, that Arnold guy, he makes some pretty good guys, doesn't he? Boy, I should like and subscribe to his channel. He's like the best triple B mobile gamer on the God's green earth. There we go. Send it over here. All right, almost down on Sun Fact. Nice swarm. Let's see if we can, yeah, you know what? Say, all right, just get them all out. Boom! All right, and Sun Fact, it's just you, me, and a big Death Star behind my bootay. Okay, let's go. One, two. Okay, let's try that again. All right, just give it a second. All right, hold on. And we'll get there eventually. There we go. What well, better way to end it? Crank it up. Crank it up. Crank it up. Crank it up. Let's go! Destroyer insurance. I don't know if that's covered under uh, natural causes of death right there. There we go. Send it. And one more time. Nicely done. Fully operational, baby. Nice hat. Thank you. The reason why I'm wearing a hat here, you know what? Look, let's just let's just let's just get the awkwardness out of the way. The reason why we're in a hat. Let me just tell you, helmet here does not look good on me. So yeah. Putting the hat on because I'm the very best, like no one ever was. The catch, the executor's my main quest to dominate is my cause. I know he's the very best. Something like that. All right, and there you go. Nicely done. First try, Arnold's guide still works two years later. And now it's just the long, long grind of what is it, 10 shards a month, once a month. So what is that? We need another, geez, we need another 55 and you got another 85. So it's gonna be like, uh, you know, a year <laughs> until we get the seven start. I don't know why. 
Why does it take so long? Why? Oh, it's so frustrating. The good news is the executor, the capital ships are pretty usable at low stars. Yeah, is it two years? Uh, uh, come, I mean, come on. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, I know we said we know what we're in for playing this game, but two years to just get a ship from four to seven stars, uh, an old legacy, it's, a, it's almost a legacy capital ship at this point. It's pretty absurd. You can't even, like, all right, fine. Maybe you can convince me executors should take two years two years i know let me emphasize this before we do a couple quick grand arena battles i have like 15 minutes or so here uh it took me i, I got two galactic legends and star killer in the time frame it took me to get the finalizer to seven stars something is just completely backwards when it comes to that it took me i got two gls and star killer and the time span of getting finalizer completely absurd this, this we need there's a lot of ship overhaul stuff needed it shouldn't take that long to get the seven stars at this point you just got the five star today i've had it since i've ever it, that's absurd there's there's no excuse it seems like such an outdated form of mobile gaming i hope they do something about it a permanent guide i don't know, at least up it 50 shards a month it's like come on we're, we're kind of way past the exclusivity window but again four star executor is still plenty usable actually you know let's do a quick ship battle before we try to knock out a few uh grand arena battles uh the main i'm gonna do something on the free to play account we have no chance of winning even if we did have the time but I want to just go quickly, see if I can get a nice dunk. Knowing me, I'm going to already struggle with my first battle. Let's get our bounty hunters out in right about. So we have... I'm definitely going to work on Cad Bane a little bit, get him up and running. And then we'll bring these two into reinforcement. And then maybe we'll... It depends. I don't know if we're going to do triple attacker on Grand Arena defense. Four stars, man. He's two years to get the seven stars. 25 shards a month, like something. Like 10 shards a month is just... It should be a permanent journey guide after a year. Just like Grand Inquisitor will be in a couple months here. And all that other stuff. All right, let's go. Let's go gun down Annie. I actually forgot about how to. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's go send it on over here. Let's see. Are we gonna dunk? All right. Let's see if we can. Eh, sure. Just go do this right now. All right. Oh, I have to check. I don't know if my Xanadu blood's upgraded. Uh, we'll check in a moment. Let's go pop them. There we go. Nice and easy. Look at that. Don't gotta goof around. Okay. All right. TB ITB coming in. That's fine, that we're good. Let's go bring out my good friend, Bobby DeFett. Okay, just do a, here we go. Nice little buff to spell on that basic. This is one of those old school 2018 fleets where just a bunch of random good stuff put together. Let's start working over there. There we go, already hitting pay up, nicely done. Do a basic over there, come on, baby, baby. Yeah, just do mark there, there we go. Let, let Hound Speed go crazy on us, I don't care. There we go, hit him with the biggins. There we go. Nice big boom up for the Ruma. And I don't know. He'll fix up uh, Xander Blood a little bit. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah, you know what? I don't even know why I'm playing in manual. We fully deserve. Just put this baby on full auto at this point. And I probably shouldn't mark them down. That's fine. Big ability blocks coming in, please. Nice. There we go. Six more. Little teeny bitty turns to go. Easy. Put it on auto. When you're an executor owner, you don't got to play. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Has your free-to-play fleet shard gotten into contact with you? Uh, not that I know of. Maybe they try. I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm in contact with any of my free-to-play shards. Uh, I don't think I... Maybe they reached out. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I know there's sometimes coordination. You know, people climb at certain times. Boom. I, I'm going to say I'm, I'm a little bit spoiled now. The fi Mastering the finalizer has been kind of nice for, like, beating executors on the free-to-play count. Not to say we're not going to use the finalizer still. or probably will for those finalizer counts. But it feels nice. Just absolute decimation. That's just the way we do it. Snap later? Probably not. I don't have time for Grand Arena. I only got, like, another 15-ish minutes where we're going to... Actually, how's the weather? I know it was raining. It was I heard some thunder. So let's see. He's, uh... All right, looks like we might be in the clear. It's like this, it's like this weird like 30-ish percent chance of rain. So because like it's once tonight comes, this it's back to apocalypse land out here. All right, there we go. Nice simple fleet shard climb. All right, so let's do. I want to do something in the free to play. Uh, let me just show you. <laughs> you know, there's a <laughs> that that, that matchmaking is really something. Uh, trick. The, I, I just want to know. I want to be in these people's shoes. Like, how do you feel? Just like Duncan, uh, it's like Michael Jordan playing up against a kindergarten uh, in, in basketball. It's like you can't feel good when you're jumping and they're like going under your crotch while you're dunking over them. It's just, it can't be a good feeling. This person's 
five galactic legends the gases and all that other great stuff and uh eh, no data crons let's see what's the ships looking like they have the executor and stuff and it's like I, I don't know like it doesn't like it feels satisfying when you're the underdog you beat the big guy but it doesn't feel good when you're the big guy dunking on the little guy so yeah they put their ray on defense they put their star killer on defense they put their kenobi on defense and i don't quite have that many tools to knock out more importantly master kenobi with the commander tunnel so what i want to do here <laughs> How are they not in Kyber? I don't know. It's probably more satisfying the, the dunk on little guys. Yeah, so what I wanted to do, Kemix uh, already hit the nail on the head. I'm just curious. I did it in 3v3. We dunked on a rain. 33 to Star Killer is nice. I don't know if I'm ready in 5v5. I mean, to be fair, maybe I am, because really, what's the core engine? It's Palpatine, uh, Mara Jade, Star Killer. Uh, you know, just my my tank isn't great. My Visus Mars not great. But I'm just kind of curious, just for the maybe there's gonna be a day where we go up against maybe a two GL roster and they have Ray on defense. Like I know Seth Eternal can handle it, but it's kind of curious to see if we can do this. So this is gonna be kind of nice. That's gonna be kind of nice. Uh, Avery Tatavito, happy to say I finally unlocked the executor. Take from one executor owner to another. Congratulations! I think that's what Post Malone was singing about when he made that song. Congratulations, my friend. We also have uh, Lord Chuckles <laughs> with the 29 months. Best Imperial Reinforcers or Executor. Fuck the Kyber Empire. Zero. You want to know the best Executor lineup? What I just did in Fleet Arena. There is no reason to put any more reinforcements on the Executor, especially on defense because the AI is an idiot. It doesn't know what to bring in. You don't want to bring it in Imperials. You want to only bring out Bounty Hunters. Save those Imperial ships for Chimera for the Tarkin's Interceptor, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, so that's, <laughs> that's what I would recommend. You don't need any Imperial reinforcements. Bounty hunters only all day. And I know, I, I remember getting that question all the time. Well, why aren't you putting reinforcements on you? No, just those two ships, generally Hounds 2, Xander Blood, Razor Crest, or you do the triple attacker with IG-88, Xander Blood, Razor Crest, and reinforcement, Boba, IG, um, Hounds Tooth, whatever you want to do. Yeah, don't put any Imperial reinforcements there, Lord Chuckles. Thank you for the 29 months around these parts. And then what else do we have today? Captain seven two three the four two months. If it goes incredibly hard, looking good. <laughs> Thanks. It's uh, it's the Kyber attire when we're out and about uh, going a very law-abiding speeds. You know that's why we got to dress good for the occasion. You got to look good when you're hitting those speed limits, and also in case you know you fall flat in your face. You know you don't have to see your your bones exposed afterwards. So we're looking good. We got to look good. We got to play good, and we got to ride good, and we got to not die good at the same exact time. But on that note. Let's see if we can make this team die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Star killer. First time, 5v5, free to play. Let's see what we can make out of this. It's, it's, I feel all right because these guys carry it. These guys are just kind of there just to make sure we turn it on. Let's go for it. Let's see what we have. You were weak when I found you. Okay, I, you know, we got to talk to this guy. He doesn't really give us the best motivation going into these battles. All right, what do we want to do here? So we're not going to go first. That's fine. Uh, let's see if we can try to drop some stuns. It feels... Odd. Actually, I messed that up already. Whoops. <laughs> Should have gotten that off of Ray. All right. Already misplaying. We'll figure it out as we go along. Let's just, you know what? Just get Ray down. Yeah, I butchered this up. We got to get Star Killer for a buff the spell here, hopefully. Basic. All right. Star Killer coming with the buff the spell. There we go. Yeah. I mean, uh, maybe it's fine. I don't know. Do basic. Let's see if we can try to get. Uh, all right. So she's already in yellow. Uh, not by my own accord, though. That sucks. All right. Let's. Um, you know what? Give me a couple stuns. There we go. All right, let's go see if we can get, you know, put some shock on Holdo just in case something goes fishy. All right, whatever. Okay, go over here. Just give me some shock. That's all I'm asking for. Give me some penetration. There we go. Mind trick him. Oh, that sucks. All right, we're fine. All right, she's in the yellow. Let's go. Push. Push. All right, she's almost down for the count. Let's do this first. All right, everyone's stunned. Pop that out. I think we got it. Wow. I forgot how easy Ray is to beat without Stark or without Ben on the team. Holy cow. Is this it? That's all I have to do? Wow. That's... That felt... Wow. You know what? I haven't fought a non-Ben Ray in a long time. This actually makes me appreciate Ben so much more. Let's go ahead. Say the line. Say the line. Size means nothing to you. 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 And he is now more powerful than ever. Woo! He's under, he's very powerful, fully unleashed. The 
just the way we like it. No, he was meant to dunk on Ray. That's what he was meant for. All right, now we just kind of wait for these guys to get turns. Any day now. They'll get. They'll, they'll take a turn. Any moment now. Any moment now. Any moment. Any moment now. This is what it looks like when you're succeeding too hard. Succeeding way too hard right now. I don't know. Just sure, do that. Come on, Finn. Take some turns. Taunt up. No. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. All right. Let's go. See if we can finish off Finn. Finish off Baby Ray. And we're just waiting on you. Wow. I got to say, full banners first try. This makes me also appreciate Ben. A lot of great ways of looking at this battle. Holy cow. Very impressive. Give it up. You know, I was thinking, man, I should like probably gear up my Visa Smar and Ben more. If I'm able to do that, why should I gear up, gear them up more? At least for now. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get really that much more mileage. Uh, yeah, I really don't. All right. Uh, yeah, I got like 10 minutes here. I wanted to do, or you know what? I'm just curious. If I could beat this Kenobi, I say let's go for it. I, but I just don't think we have the right arsenal to do it. We don't have a bounty hunter two shot. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, we just don't have the right toys. We got Wat Tambor. Yeah, and then you get Geonosians. It's Geonosians are my, they're kind of cramp. I need like a good relic Geotine. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not great. GB and Watt, yeah, it's just, um, like if this was non-cat, I'd say, yeah, you know, we have a decent shot at this, but uh, yeah, we don't really have enough. Revive Datacron, well, I don't have that. <laughs> it's free to play count, free to play count. Uh, yeah, we don't have the, uh, and the revive's only for tanks, so it's not like it really makes that big of a difference. Yeah, don't even try, we're gonna just do it real quick. Don't forget Watt this time, yeah, we got Watt. It's always the debate, do I go for the uh, tank tech or the health pack? I don't really know. There's kind of arguments for both. Uh, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna make it all. Oh, mm. I think I might do health pack. Yeah, health pack. Let's do health pack. All right, Gucci man. Uh, you know what? Come on. You're following up after Star Killer. Don't look like a chump. Come on. He made him look really good. He's gonna make you look really bad. At least take out Commander Tano. Bare, we gotta set ourselves some bare minimum standards here. All right, health pack over the Sith Eternal since they love to ignore health uh, because they remember they nerfed Sith Eternal against Kenobi they, or I should say maybe they buffed him above Kenobi up against Sith Eternal because they didn't want peasant free to play people actually winning all right all right um you know what I'm just gonna link up um uh, let's look up cap I don't know we'll see link her up I we generally get faster off the charge going over there but all right all uh, right what do I want to do here you know what? This could be an interesting play. Let's get let's get the tank back. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, that, that was uh, that that certainly was uh, something. <laughs> hey, you know, better them than someone else. All right. Let's see if maybe Thrawn can. I don't know. Do something. All right. No protection regen. Unfortunately, I don't even know if it's worth. Yeah. Just go for it. Why not? There we go. Okay. Um. Not really gonna do much. All right, they're gone. Um, you know what? I have a feeling Thrawn's not gonna be around for long. Let's give some of the talent. All right, hitting high ground, mini high ground. Yeah, see, health pack's helping us out there. Okay. All right, pass gone over almost the ultimate. All right, all right, and now we're down to one. I was gonna say two, but that didn't last very long. All right, yeah, Oof. all right, bud, best of luck. All right, best of luck, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, you really need armor if you're gonna pull this off, and I probably won't even hit ultimate, just like so. Yeah, then, you know, it's fine. You know, we kind of knew we're going into the six GLs and all this stuff. This person should be in Kyber of 8.3. The fact that my 3.4 is going up against them. As I tell you guys, the thing to tell yourself, I keep in this question, why is the match making like this? Take it in a way, in a positive manner. It means you're really darn good at the game. So take that. And I got to say, very impressed by Star Killer. I think I kind of, for now, I see no incentive to upgrade my Ben and uh, Vsysmar. Should have brought in Savage. Uh, maybe. 
maybe uh the problem is they could have potentially been insta kill by commander tano and that maybe would have been a little finicky uh all right 306 all right we got a few seconds here. let's go hop over here quick round of applause for joy 198 the best pirate out there in the wild wild west uh let me make sure hold on we gotta do oh boy i'm falling behind on super chats we have matthew jashinsky coming in two times the 15 dollar and a five dollar uh, your streams got me through some really hard night shifts at my job. Inpatient pediatric psych. Oh my gosh, that's a, that's a lot on your plate right there. And you're amazing. You keep me awake and pumped coming home from work. Now at a great job. And oh, this is one out of three. Oh, there's another one. Have a, you welcomed our third baby girl, Jude. Wow, massive congratulations on that. Wow, wow, wow. Ecstatic for you, my friend. There are so many nights. She is fussy, but watching your videos always calms her down. All right, now, now you're just blowing smoke up my rear end. I, I, I feel like my videos do the opposite of calm down. If anything, I, I would hype her up. <laughs> and then, uh, hold on, hold on. There's, there's another one that says Matthew Jashinsky. I'm not seeing a third one. Oh, no, did it not go through? Oh, no, Matthew. I don't see the third one. I'm left in suspense. Oh, well, if I don't see it again, congratulations. Thank you so much for being around for so long. Glad you love the music. And I'm, I'm, I'm calling some fishy business with me calming her down. I, do, I feel like I have the opposite effect on people. Either I scare them, I pump them up, I put high adrenaline in them, or they shut off their phone very quickly. It's one of those four things. <laughs> it's Jude, J-U-D-E, uh, is the baby girl's name. So congratulations to the Jasinski family. And then we have Ben Kenobi family. It's greater than CG. Yeah, it's, it's not even just that. It's just, uh, I would love to play. I, if, it's one of those things they call and say, hey, you want to do something, sir? And then I wasn't expecting to be gone so long. Then I'm like, guys, I got to do at least something. I have, to, I have this th event I want to do, the, the executor unlock. I was like, all right, so we'll take a little break. We'll come home, get back to the Star Destroyer command station, all that fun stuff. Uh, what I want to do real quick is, you know what? Um, I, want to, I want to use Trench and Night Sisters very quickly. Oh, really quick. Let's see. I took a little glance at the defense. Uh, it looks like we did pretty well defensively. We got a nice couple holds. Reva is officially buffed against Treya, so I believe Treya is not going to work right now. I haven't tried it. I don't know if they have Tr uh, Reva on defense. But yeah, now we're starting to see some defensive holds. They probably have to start two-shotting her. Pretty and not stuff. And then over here, I think we had some defensive holds. So our defense held up really well. Wow, guys, what do you know? It's only like the only team Arnold keeps talking about. The greatest free-to-play team currently in Galaxy of Heroes. A lot of holds right there. They were probably scared for a minute. Four defensive holds on a resistance team is not fun. And then a short team. See, a lot of drop battles and uh, the defense doesn't look nuts. We just don't have time, but I want to see if I can knock out a Night Sister battle uh, in a, a quick trench battle. What would Night Sisters be good against? Probably not that. Probably not that. Probably not that. That's a really weird Malgus team. And I'm going to say probably not that just based off my experience using Marin the other day. I'm not seeing a great like I mean, we could maybe do Admiral Trench on... You know what I wonder? What if I can use Admiral... Hmm. You think Admiral Trench could beat this team? Like, I don't know. You think it's possible? Do Night Sister... Oh, yes! You're a genius! You're a genius! Thank you! Yes, I've, we've been meaning to try this out. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm like... I'm like my brain's like, oh, you would use Dr. Raff here. But what if I don't want to use Dr. Raff? What if I want to use Dr. Raff for somewhere else? Yeah. Uh, what did we use when we did it in... I don't think we'd want... Do we want to use Asajj? The problem is with Asajj is I don't have her Omicron. I think we used Spirit, didn't we? And that's... We had better success. What did I do? We, like, we, like, we hit auto. We let them do their thing. And hold on. Yeah, let me see. Uh, Trench beats nothing. I, I think I could beat, like, the Radis team. Uh, hold on. Where is... Where's that dude's video? Where's that Arnold fella? He made a video on this. Did, like, a whole live stream. I should watch their videos sometimes. There we go. Night there. Sisters. All right, where Incoming is my Marin Oh, so we, we did I use mean, Asajj. You're stuck behind. Oh, gosh! My all right, so we did use Asajj. Okay. Um, all right. We used Spirit. No, I'm watching the video. I used... Uh, I used... Hmm. But we, we only got it down to a solo Jabba. We couldn't finish up Jabba. Did Playbook make a video on it too? Hold on. Let me see. I didn't see Playbook. I, I'm just looking at what we did on stream. Let's see. Playbook. Oh, there we go. I did not see that. I did not see. Oh, he posted it just yesterday. Let's see. All right, so we kind of came... All right, so they use this... Oh, they have... Is this Grand Arena footage? I can't tell if this is Grand Arena footage or is this Squad Arena. Um, This is... This looks like this is Grand Arena. Okay, so uh, they have the Omicron. I don't have the Omicron. I don't know if that's going to be an issue. Uh, They use also Night Sister Initiate. I do not have a good Night... Oh, that's... We were talking about that. I'm sure how Night Sister Initiate would be helpful because uh, Night Sister Initiate has the uh, buff immunity. 
So I don't know if I have the right tools. He has more Omicrons and uh, the Night Sister Initiate. But I do believe, as we said, we kind of think we can. Yeah, see, here we go. Hold on. Where is it at? Is it? Wait, there's no buff me yet. Here we go. Look at that. So, yeah, that's what. That's, so this is where we got in squadron. Basically, we got down to just Java, but we couldn't, like, finish it off. Uh, I have a feeling that Asajj Omicron probably helps out a ton. You also get healing immunity on that Omicron, which we do not have. I said let's go for it. We're just doing a quick uh, one or two battle situation here. Let's go throw on some sort of Datacron. Um, I don't know what I would want. Uh, potency, I'm guessing. Increased potency. Something like that. Armor. Look at all the 60. There's so many 69 in here. Let's do it. Use a potency decron. Yeah, that's the game plan. All right. Let's go for it. Night Sister time. Quick battle. Then we'll be doing a quick trench battle. I don't know. Just trying to see what these new teams can do right now. Uh, where's the forbidden song that I'm trying to fix? All right. There we go. Turn it down a little bit so we don't get the, right, the wrong people irritated. All right. Here we go. And I don't know. Do I just put it on, do I just put it on full auto? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to put it on full auto or not. Okay. All right, what do I want to do here? I kind of think I just want to put on full auto and... You know what? I'm just putting on full auto. We're going to be stuck behind Cursanta anyways for a minute, right? So put it on full auto. Let's see what she does. Weird graphics, all that stuff. Uh, glitches, there we go. Look, so, so we have the Marin Omicron. That's something we did not have inside a squad arena. Every single time Marin's taking a turn, she's applying plague on him. They're going to be crippled a lot faster than they were in squad arena. Look at that. 12 stacks of plague already. Look at that. Looking good. Keep it going, girls. Yeah, we just got to make sure. There we go. Look at this. We're looking real good right now. Here, look at He's already almost gone. All right. Come on. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hopefully, we can also time out the defeat immunity when Java goes ultimate. All right. Damage really kind of sucks. Hopefully, we got to buff the spell like so. Nicely done. Come on, girls. There we go. Ember was already down for the cow. Good stuff. All right. It's fine. We'll get her back. All right. So, here's what we got to do. We got to make sure we have defeat immunity on us. Uh, there we go. I think we, I think Java's gonna waste it. Let's see. Hold on. Java, take a turn. Hold on. My gosh, this is actually working so much better. Oh my gosh. Do we have defeat immunity? We did! Yeah! Let's go! Keep it going, girls. You're looking good. All right, all right, all right. Uh, the issue is I just don't know if I can finish the job without the uh, Asajj Omicron. This is great, though. Let's say if you don't have uh, Dr. Aphra, you don't have a GL. Being able to pick apart Jabba is pretty solid. I think Jabba's starting to become the new Sith Eternal on defense lately. All right, there we go. Look at it. We're cooking, baby. Just got to get around this guy. Come on, more planks. Nice. Come on, Mara. Let's keep it going. No, 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 no. Three minutes on the clock still. Every does it. I don't think I can finish the job here. That's where Asajj Omicron is very good. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, yeah, I think you need Asajj Omicron, you need the healing immunity, uh, a way to get buff immunity out of some sort. They have the tools. I just don't have the tools on them just yet. But still, nonetheless, I think this is a full, full auto, by the way. I just went in there, hit the auto. So basically it confirmed what our initial testing was inside of squad arena, where it looks like we could probably get a nice, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get a nice uh, opportunity to, to kind of pick apart Java, but yeah, playbook again. He had Asajj Omicron, he had Talia, uh, not Talia, Initiate. I don't have either of those. So uh, this, if this, yeah, you know, Asajj might be my next Omicron. I feel like I wasted my Omicron on trench. But let's not get bogged down into the details on that for right now. Like, I would have much rather had Asajj Omicron over one of the two Omicrons on Trench. Because uh, that means you can save Dr. Aphra. You can uh, save yourself a Galactic Legend. So there we go. Not bad. Let someone die. Use auto. It's, we already lost Marin. It's fine at this point. Um, I, I, don't, I don't even think auto basically would solve the problem. We just, we need... Um, we, 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 we need to get around this bone protection. We don't have the right tools, and we don't have healing immunity. Again, I uh, do I want to upgrade Initiate? We'll take a look at it. But not bad. First time going into it. This Again, this is kind of what I would expect Trench to do. 
not he's not a marquee's accomplice somehow marin made java or made uh the nicest there's so much more competitive against these things there we go yeah i thought it was gonna make stuff with this meta I, I i wasn't expecting trench to turn out to be like a reba but i was kind of expecting something like this you know it is what it is but yeah we'll, we'll double check the night sisters man i have to maybe watch uh playbooks video if, if initiate was i mean if initiate was really helpful Yeah, I will double check. All right, so I'm actually, I'm just scrolling. I highly recommend, go watch Playbook's video. It's nice when other people come to similar conclusions independently. So it's like, you know what? I'm not crazy. Other people are saying the same thing. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna put this team on defense. I, I just saw Playbook go up against the Mirren and their Imperial Troopers messily. Let's put that in there, messily. Got through it. So Knights seem a little bit better on defense, but if, the, if Imperial Troopers have a chance of getting around them, I don't know if I want to put Knights Sisters on defense. Uh, so we'll see. I'll check out the Night Sister kits real quick. Are you going to make a conquest, guys, for the season? Uh, I hope they have it out by Monday. Uh, worst case scenario, Tuesday you'll get it. But I'm hoping by Monday. Uh, here's the thing. I kind of need the time to edit it. And if I don't, if I do a live stream, I'm not going to have it out by Monday. Um, mm, we'll see. We'll see. Awesome. So for a quick battle, I am not disappointed. Night Sisters did. We got everyone out in about two minutes and then Jabba was the final piece of the puzzle I think what we really needed was um all right so let's look at this Night Sister stuff real quick uh, you know I just don't know how much longer Jabba's gonna be around on defense people are starting to keep uh Jabba on offense because there's a it's starting to get a little easy to beat the guy maybe it's you know yeah but look at my initiate it's playbook probably geared her up because she had that great data crown but what I'm guessing is this this right here would help the buff the protection up is a big problem but if you can get buff mutiny on you're golden. And then you also have the Asajj Omicron where on the AOE or Endless Wrath with Rampage Omicron, she gets extra potency, max health, tenacity, all that other stuff. And you get more term meter, protects recovery, and you get the healing immunity. So healing immunity, uh, buff immunity. Yeah. So um, we, did they, did they even, uh, did Playbook even use, I don't think they even use Night Sister Zombie. Yeah, I don't know. You might not even need Night Sister Zombie. <laughs> yeah. To, to pull this off because yeah yeah i think the plague just does all the work so you know what i might i you know i might upgrade this i think this is very viable there's no datacrons making this a, a little uh biased on the results let's put a quick trench battle on auto let's see if they can handle the oh shoot my boy everyone needs but not my guild needs to hop in the battle uh oh yeah, let me see if, okay. hold on Hold on. Uh, real quick, let me put a quick trench battle on off auto. Uh, I think they can handle, let's see, please say yes, please say yes. Yay! I could do a quick territory battle. So we're gonna do two trench battles, one here, one inside of Territory Wars. So we get some use out of that Omicron. Uh, let's see, so Admiral Trench, let's just, I, I, this, uh, you know, this team, man. Uh, the Mass Assist is working now, so that's nice. You know what I wanna do? Can I do this without Watt Tambor? Yeah, see if we can make that work without Watt Tambor. Give me some potency. Sure, do that. All right. Same guys who got super... Oh, oops, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see if they can handle this. Here, play their song real quick. Make them feel good about themselves. You know, we're all a little sad. I, I have a feeling there's going to be something, not Datacrons, that's going to make us feel like, wow, this team is actually more valuable now. I'm waiting for that day. All right. I'm hoping this is going to be fine. Um... All right, just, you know, you guys figure it out. Let me catch with you guys. All right, let's see if we can handle this. All right, where was I left off? Hold on, where did I leave off? Where did I leave off? And there's Matthew Dushkinski coming up to number three, Super Tenth, another $5. Maybe we'll pass after rocking out too hard. All right, I can see it. You got to tire him out, right? You're an amazing, uh, you, you are an amazing entertainer and creator. Listen, stop tooting my horn. You're too nice, too nice to me. It brings so much joy to many people, wow. Uh, you guys bring joy to my life too. It means a lot you guys come out here. Last second stream notices with my wild schedule. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Everything I have, I owe to you guys. Truly, Matthew. Thank you so much for the kind words. Again, congratulations as well to the expanded family edition you have going on. Uh, how are we looking right now? It's not looking hot, is it? I don't know. Let's see. I'm a bit worried. Maybe you need... I'm hoping you don't need want Tambor, man. There we go. Nice done. See if you can just keep going, keep going over there. There we go. Got some fear. Here we go. They're getting, they're kind of getting there. 
Come on. There we go. Almost down. There we go. You know, I mean, Bad Batch could do this. They're a little bit more budget friendly. Um, but hey, let's look at the bright side. I didn't need to use Watt Tambor. That's, that's, that's nice, I guess. Yeah, there you go. They beat something. Finally useful, although Bad Batch does this and more people have Bad Batch and they're cheaper. Yeah, yeah, let's not get into the nitty gritty of all that right now. But there you go, they beat something. Uh, what else do we have here? Would love to see replays uh, in GA, TW, or see them live. It also contribute more counters against some teams. 100%, I, I, I enjoy kind of seeing what some of these new teams can do. It's really cool seeing Marin do some work in there. I'm glad you like it. We're gonna do a quick territory war. The problem with territory is they usually don't let me live stream it because they want to keep some secrecy. They don't mind me showing stuff afterwards, but they, they're like, eh, shh, shh. don't live stream it. But they said I can live, live stream a quick uh, trench battle. So we're gonna see trench two times over. What else we got here? WRX Fanatic. We got a little Subi boy in here. Five dollars, unlocked my executive as well. Thank you so much, congrats. And it's great to be in the empire today thank you so much and again congratulations the trench not a hundred percent useless all right joey enjoy the win uh let's hop over to territory wars uh boy i'm really impressed at night sister battle I was yeah i think we're... i just uh, i wonder if the omicron's really new. i can see talia making a big forward improvement I'm just not gonna have another Omicron ready for another like week or two here. Probably two weeks. Uh, we got time. Five and fives around uh, next month. All right. So, oh, hold on. They want me to cover my screen real quick. One second. Cover the screen. All right. Oh, so the screen's not covered, guys. Uh -huh. There we go. Thank you. All right. Really quick. They want me to do this. No, not that. And they want me. Is this down here? Oh, did I miss it out? I think we missed out. Whoops. Well, they beat me to it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all right. I guess we're not uh, going to do this battle. I, they, yeah, they burnt through the Grievous teams fairly quickly. All right, let me see if there's something else I could do with you guys real quick. Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. One sec. Uh, ooh, okay. Let me, let me double check they're okay with me showing this. All right. Yeah, well, I saw, uh, yeah, Territory Wars is weird. I, I hope there's like a Territory War revamp. It's just that, yeah, it's all the top guilds are like this in Territory Wars. They're very secretive and I, I get it. I don't want to, I don't make a big beef out of it because they are representing 50 people and they are, they want to be the best. They're not, I've not everyone's together. I'm not like, I want to tell you this. There are some big Grand Arena players, like especially when Grand Arena logs came out. There were so many people that were threatening to like sue or something like that because of the, the battle log data going out. I, I can't remember what grounds they were like even considering suing. I think it was a bunch of malarkey. But anyways, there were even some grand arena players that didn't like the fact that their 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 history logs are being public. So they want to keep things secret. But, you know, I kind of get it. Do you want if you're let's say in the NFL, do you want all of your plays being leaked? I, I, I kind of get it. I'm different. I want to put as much information out there, how I beat stuff, how I read the rooms, the defense, offense, the situation. Yeah. Uh, but that, that, even Grand Arena people are not happy. I can only imagine if there was Territory War logs, they'd be mad too. All right. Well, while I'm waiting for uh, confirmation, I could do this other Territory War battle. I don't know if they want me to show this one. Let me make sure I don't fall too far behind because I'm probably going to zip out of here in a moment. Alex, let's tell the 49, the actual script, the Return of the Jedi's Return of the Jedi or... Yeah, Return of the Jedi. I don't know why I was thinking Rise of Skywalker. Uh, our orders are to hold. The Emperor has a biggie <laughs> plan for them. Executor unlocked Saturday. Hell to the freaking yeah, yeah. They should have Operation Yeet. Ne Operation Necromancer. No, Operation Yeet. 1,000%. And then what else? We have Ben Kid will be coming in again. I got you, my friend. Thank you so much for that. Uh, 700. What is ISK? ISK. What is ISK? Oh, look. At I always learn something every day. This is my thing I learned today. ISK. Icelandic Kronas? Wow, I did not know that. There you go. Icelandic Kronas. We learned that. Uh, he still has not responded. So we'll give him a few more seconds here. Then maybe I'll just... No, I don't know if they want me to show this one. This, Yeah, this this might tip the, the hat too much in what we have. Uh, we have uh, some username. Great username. One month. I'm about to unlock C within a week. I have two Zetas available. Is there a recommendation on which Zetas are the best for Ultima? Huh. You know, I, I, there's this guy. I don't know. Small guy. Uh, figuratively, literally, uh, hyper, basically, hold on. 
they make out this video. I don't know. It's, it's just a guy that talks loud and all that other stuff. Where is it at? Uh, they have this guide. They're like, I know there's going to be someone that's going to have this problem. And I want to take care of it. If you go check out my video over here, there's this Arnold T101 fella. And it shows all the Zeta's drinks from best to worst. Almost time for an update. Probably, yeah, we do it about every three months. Probably, I think next weekend, we're going to have a bunch of updated guides. Here's a link to this beautiful Zeta ranking. And we even take it a step further where it shows you when you go on the tabs down below the Zeta orders on particular characters. Let's look at the Sith. All right. So we have a Sith Eternal team. What? No way. Look at that. Boom. Uh, I got in here for you. The order operation for if you're working on Sith Eternal teams, what are the priority Zetas? All that fun stuff. So almost pretty much all the core teams of the game. We have Zeta recommendations ranked and more importantly, Zeta order and the importance when you're building a whole entire fact. So hopefully this helps you out. I, I feel like for some reason, it's like one of my best kept secrets. Like people will ask this question. They, they don't know it's out there. It's out there. I made it, put a lot of time into it. Hopefully it is a helpful resource for you to have my friend hope that answers your question and all the questions you might have about zetas movie hashtag ad right <laughs> and then what else we got here uh hammoth the mammoth great having you around these parts my friend hey hey i have been a long time fan this is the first time i've caught one of her streams well thank you so much and i can see that's your first super chat youtube says celebrate the first super chat from hammoth celebrate super chats come on there we go thank you so much hammoth the mammoth all right, so they don't want me. Yeah, okay, so I can't show this other battle. Yeah, this battle up here, they don't want me showing the counter they're using for this team. So I missed out on the boat on the trench battle. And I think that's about my cue that they want to get rolling, unfortunately. Uh, Hammond, what's your favorite team in the game? Oh, man. Uh, I love Imperial Troopers. They're a ton of fun. I think they're losing their edge lately. I think Resistance with Zori is the best free-to-play team in the game. I think Dr. F is the most fun team. I love it. Just pure glass cannon, ultimate firepower team, my type of play style. I love it. My favorite defensive team, probably, oh gosh, my favorite defense team, oddly enough, is Resistance right now. So it depends what what, what area you're looking at. Uh, my favorite Galactic Legend, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, best all-around experience. So, and, and, and I love, you know what? I'm putting one more. I like Starkiller a lot. It reminds me of the original days when I played Galaxy of Heroes. Mishmash characters put together dominating random things so i'm gonna put star killer on that list too a couple of them out there thanks no problem have the man mammoth thank you my friend and then what else we got here before i get dipping out of here we have uh, every tata vito happy to say i finally unlocked executor say man congratulations i know it's been almost two years executor still a really big deal i'm wondering how it's gonna fit in the leviathan meta in the future but we still got time before we got to worry about that uh they got captain 723 got you thank you so much joey k198 did i get you Ah, you're my... Oh, that's Joey. That's my opponent. Uh, look at this. Don't take my word for it. Take Joey's review of my Zori team. I'm your current opponent in GAC. Great having over. Sorry. Today's a weird day again. Long story short. It's an amazing day. Apocalypse starts tomorrow. It's I, It's like, I don't... It's just this... The, the point where I live, it's crappy weather for like the first four months. And it's like the first like nice week out of the whole year. And it's gonna be back to trash weather, cold, snowy, rainy, gloomy for like the next several weeks. So sorry, I, I couldn't get in there right away, but hey, you got some, you got a big crystal payout. Zori is a nightmare, Joey said, my current Grand Arena opponent. Timed out a test battle with Marin against Shorty. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sh Shorty versus Knights is a little bit weird. Hopefully we get a rematch in the future when you have more time. And GG, great having you, Joey. Thanks for the feedback on Zori and also your experience of Marin versus the night sisters yeah guys i can't emphasize it enough i know it's a it's not the sexiest team but it's one of the best teams in the game gear 11 zori gear 10 zori more than enough to get advantage of what you need then i got matthew jasinski we of course got matthew jasinski we got him several times we have mark mate from the token shop all right glad you got that thanos i'm loving thanos zoo less rng i agree you just got to be careful the problem with thanos zoo a killmonger might be lurking right around the corner <laughs> yeet out your entire roster or your all your cards you put down because it's a lot of one drops going on there holy roman five dollars want to show support and there we go as well another first super chat celebrate super chats come on thank you so much uh you're in my gc bracket but i lost round one so i can't face you said don't worry if you lost this round we might be able to the link up later on you're my favorite streamer and you guys are my favorite audience and i appreciate you so th yeah seriously i'm just a dude showing with you guys playing some mobile games all right uh it really means a lot though 
really means a lot having you here. Uh, William Duvalis, one of the nine. Congrats on the executor. Thank you. Uh, Papa John's at Domino's. Oh, man. All right. I, 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 I got to say, I'm not a, like, a fan of either. <laughs> if I had to pick, I'd rather get like a nice pizza from Luminati's or... Um, I don't know if you guys have Luminati's where you're at. Probably not, but I'd rather go to Luminati's or even get a frozen pizza if I had to. But if I had to pick... Gosh, I don't know what Papa John's tastes like. I had a lot of Papa John's in college. It was like cheap college food, $5 pizza, held you through the week and you're good. And more recent years, I've had Domino's more. So I guess if I had to pick, just based off more recent reviews between those two, I guess Domino's. But I try to stay away from those pizzas if I can. Um, I'd rather have a nice pizza, but Domino's is okay. I had, uh, it's a guilty pleasure. When we go on vacation, we get Domino's, we pig out like 2 a.m. in the morning when we're coming back from a road trip. So that's a, it's a guilty pleasure type of pizza, but I'd, much rather get like Illuminati's or something of that sort. And then we, we already got Kamek's AK deal. We got Mark Mate. We got Ben Kenobi. Hold on. Am I almost caught up? Michael Rossi, Fake 17, Parma Mary Dog, Ben Kenobi with more gifted subs. Bonzi guy. Good luck, bro. Bedtime for me. Are you, I forgot. Are you from down under? Wow. Already tapping out on us. Great having you here. And then I think I'm almost there. And uh, ja Joey, I got you. Thanks for the reminder, Joey. Almost missed you. Glad to link up with you. It's great having people confirm that I'm. I'm not crazy that Zori is this amazing character. People need to gear up and their life will be so much better. Hope you have Zori too, Joey. Thanks again for being my opponent, being a good sport, and being around to hang out today. Great Admiral Carter, six months. Hi, Arnold. Love what you do. Long live the Empire. Thank you. Great having you, man. You guys are just high spirited today. I love it. It's probably just the good weather soaking in. It, just, it does something to you. Even the local law enforcement would say so too. Let's just say I went to go see the Mario movie the other day. Oh, real quick before we go. I went to go see the Mario movie the other day. Uh, I it, it exceeded my expectations. I'm a little sad that, you know, we didn't have the original Mario voice actor play Mario, but I'm glad Ma the Mario voice actor had a cameo appearance a couple times. It was really cool. I had a lot of fun. It was definitely one of the more fun movies I've seen. But on the way home, nice weather, <laughs> into Kyber Horse, you know, 800 plus horsepower at your, your foot. You know, it's, it's, you know, I'm like, I'm almost home, you know? It's like, ah, you know, listen. Let's just hit it a little bit. It's on an abandoned road. It's like, it's like no one drives down this road. And my luck, one or two stoplights away from home. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! And I was like, officer, my wife, she's got to go to the bathroom really bad. So it was kind of funny. Uh, the great weather brings out the fun in me. I, I need to be in a place where they have uh, nice weather like this all the time. And I think, I think, uh, I think I'm all caught up. So while we're here, give yourselves a round of applause. Truly, thank you all for coming out to this last second stream. Man, it's only been an hour, but it feels like we've been together a lot longer. Am I a felon? Yeah, I'm a criminal. 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 I follow all the laws to the T, 1,000%. Zori, owe me at five stars worth it. Hell yeah, baby, Kasir. Low star Zori is great. Check out my videos where I did a... Uh, uh, Three-star testing. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Thank you for coming out. Big shout out to the Super Chatters, the donations, the gift of membership, the likes, and more importantly, everyone's time for being here. I hope you have an amazing weekend, wherever you guys may be. And if you're someone like me, where nice weather only comes so rarely, enjoy it. Go out, smell the fresh air. Enjoy the times. Burn some rubber. Because here in an Alderaan, we don't have any rules. We have no regulations. The number one regulation, the dominate hard. Look dang good! And always remember, honey, baby, girl! What they said. What they said, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Enjoy your time here. Tyler comes up to 25-8 for that one extra hour. That one extra day of fighting hard. Oh, yeah. Great to be in the Empire today. Love you guys. I'll see you later.
Goodbye. <laughs>